One World Publications is a British independent publishing firm founded in 1986 by Novin Dustar and Juliet Maybe, originally to publish accessible nonfiction by experts and academics for the general market. Based in London, it later added a literary fiction list in 2009 and both a children's list Rock the Boat 2015 and an upmarket crime list Point Blank 2016 and now publishes across a wide range of subjects including history, politics, current affairs, popular science, religion, philosophy and psychology as well as literary fiction, crime fiction and suspense and children's titles. A large proportion of One World fiction across all its lists is translated. Among the writers on the One World list are Marlon James, Jean Guerrero, Paul Beatty, Gloria Steinem, A.C. Grayling, Ian Sinclair, Stanley Johnson, Jenny Murray, Jason Siegel, Antonia Fraser, Richard Adams, Anne Marie Slaughter, Sean M. Carroll, Samantha Schweblin, Barnaby Phillips, Martin Bell, David McCranny, Jared Diamond, Ivor Crew, Anthony King, Elon Papp, Mary Roach, Adam Frank, Peter Cave, Gene Sasson, William Poundstone, John Hick, Hans Kahn, Young, Helen Fisher, Atticus Lish, Peter Matheson, Amit Choudhury, Kamel Dowd, Carol Phillips, Jane Urquhart, Sun M. I. Wong, Margaret Mazzantini, Y. V. Vet Edwards, Joseph Boyden, Iman Burgi, Deborah K. Davies, Peter Fines, Miranda Kaufman, Martin Bell and Anthony Warner. Topic. History One World Publications was founded in 1986 by Novin Dustar and Juliet Maybe, who had met as students in the 1970s and subsequently married. The company's name reflects their international approach to publishing with global values, initially producing nonfiction, with a focus on bold, intelligent nonfiction across the humanities. In 2009 One World launched a literary fiction list to focus on publishing inspiring, intelligent and thought-provoking novels from around the world. The list has received a string of prizes and award nominations, among them winning the prestigious Man Booker Prize for two years running, in 2015 with a brief history of seven killings by Marlon James, and in 2016 with the sellout by Paul Beatty, who became the first American winner of the prize. A Cupboard Full of Coats by Y. V. Vet Edwards, a debut British novelist, was longlisted in 2011 for the Man Booker Prize and was shortlisted in 2012 for the Commonwealth Book Prize. Reasons She Goes to the Woods by Deborah K. Davies was longlisted for the Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction in 2014, as well as being shortlisted for the Encore Award in 2015. Also in 2015, Diane Cook's Man v. Nature was shortlisted for the Guardian First Book Award, Ishmael's Oranges by Claire Hajaj was shortlisted for the Authors Club First Novel Award and the Jewish Quarterly Wingate Literary Prize, and the Mursault Investigation, a multi-award winner in France, was longlisted for the FT Emerging Voices Award and was also shortlisted for the Oxford Weidenfeld Translation Prize, translated by John Cullen, along with Loris by Eugene Vodalaskin, translated by Lisa Hayden. Loris also won the Read Russia Translation Prize in 2016. Currently Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin, translated by Megan McDowell, is shortlisted for the Man Booker International Prize. Umami by Laya Jufresa, translated by Sophie Hughes, is shortlisted for the Best Translated Book Award in the U.S., and Masha Regina by Vadim Leventhal, translated by Lisa Hayden, is shortlisted for the Oxford Weidenfeld Translation Prize. On the non-fiction side, One World titles have received numerous prestigious prizes and nominations. In 2013 The Particle at the End of the Universe by Sean Carroll won the prestigious Royal Society Winton Prize, for which Mary Roach's Gulp was also shortlisted the following year. Greg Grandin's The Empire of Necessity was shortlisted for the Samuel Johnson Prize, while Sir He Plocky's The Last Empire won the Pushkin House Russian Book Prize for 2015, and the same year saw a double shortlisting for the F.T. McKinsey Business Book of the Year for The Rise of the Robots by Martin Ford and Unfinished Business by Anne Marie Slaughter, and the prize was won by The Rise of the Robots. Originally set up in Oxford, One World bought its first permanent office in Bloomsbury, London, in 2012. 
OneWorld now publishes around 100 titles a year, which are distributed worldwide by Random House GBS in the UK, by Publishers Group West in the United States, by Bloomsbury Publishing in Australia, by Pan Macmillan in Europe, India and the Middle East, by Penguin Group in the Far East, by Jonathan Ball in South Africa, and by a variety of regional distributors in Latin America and other territories. Topic. Imprints In 2015 OneWorld launched, Rock the Boat, a list of fiction and nonfiction for children and young adults 0 to 19, and in 2016 launched a literary crime list, Point Blank. In 2017 OneWorld set up OneWorld Academic. Topic. Awards. In 2016 OneWorld won the Independent Publisher of the Year Award at the British Book Industry Awards. In March 2016 OneWorld also won the Ruth Killick Publicity Trade Publisher of the Year Award at the 2016 IPG Independent Publishing Awards. OneWorld received the Alison Morrison Diversity Award at the 2017 IPG Independent Publishing Awards. In May 2017 Juliet Maybe, publisher and co-founder of OneWorld, won the Editor of the Year Award at the British Book Industry Awards. Topic Notes. Topic External Links. Company Website. One World, the tiny publisher behind the last two Man Booker winners. One World Publisher of the Week at Book Depository. One World, One Household, Publishing Perspectives feature on One World. Booker Longlist Focus on One World.